Hello, fellow inmates. Yes, did that surprise you that I called us fellow inmates? While you're, you're in there as a prisoner of the state, I am out here as a prisoner of Jesus Christ. And Jesus is in there with you. So you are Jesus' fellow inmates. According to Matthew 25, verse 36, Jesus said, when I was in prison, you visited me. As a matter of fact, this is the very first time that we are you know, doing at a corporate level, you know, backing on this prison um, outreach, okay? Now why, two to three weeks ago, I saw a vision and in that vision, what was written on a banner was Jesus the, Jesus, the prisoner. And I asked the Lord to give me a scripture. And he gave me Matthew 25, verse 36, which I just read to you. And it says, I repeat, when I was in prison, I'm like, Lord, how can we call you the prisoner? And that word says, that is Matthew 25, 36. When I was in prison, you visited me. So we have come to visit Jesus with you because he's right in there. I believe that he wants you to know that you're not alone. The Bible again tells us that he is touched by the feelings of your inadequacies, your infirmities, where you are hurting. Jesus is also hurting. He's, he's our faithful high priest. He is touched when we are touched. Okay. He is pained when we are pained. He took the blows for us. He took the spitting on for us. He took the, the nails for us. Glory to God. He died for us. He took the death for us. Maybe there's someone in there that is, you know, on a death row. Jesus took that death for you. If you believe, he will set you free. And there is something much worse than being a prisoner of the state that is being a prisoner of of sin when someone is bound up in his or her iniquity by a mindset a mentality an ideology that drives toward destruction that is worse than where you are right now there are many people who are not in prison but they are they are prisoners of their own minds. Their minds are not free. They are not experiencing freedom in their minds. And there are others too who are in there where you are. In Badagri, Kuje, name it, all over, Kerikeri. They are in there, but they, they have not allowed the bars to also barricade their minds. Your body might be in there but your mind is as free as a bird you can use your mind you can use your mind to live as a free man even while in there i remember the story of the um, ibm brothers they designed that computer while they were in prison they went to school in prison you know they studied they, they thought they let their minds you know, in free, they let they, they let their minds ventilate. They, they did not allow the prison bars to also bar their minds. It only barred their bodies, but it did not bar their minds. For some of you, you must have received uh, copies of the books that we are distributing this season, titled Born to Win by Bishop David Oyedeku. I read that book and it turned my life around. I lost my fears and I began to see limitless possibilities. That is the word of hope or the message of hope that this outreach is intended, you know, to bring to you, to speak into, into your life. Okay. In the name of Jesus, I am believing God that the days that you're going to be spending doing, doing your time in there or serving your term, the Lord will make them to pass like that, just like a flash. He will make it easy on you in the name 
of Jesus Christ. And I pray that perhaps one day when the governor will be making rounds, you know, going around the prisons, you know, to exercise his executive uh, prerogative, you know, one of which is executive pardon. So there was one man who was on a death row in Imo State and he got a copy of the book Born to Win. And after reading it, he saw that he was a new creature. That was after he turned his life over to Jesus. Bible tells, says that all things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. You're a new person. So the man thought, he said, oh, okay, if my old self, th that my old self that committed the murder, you know, was dead, spiritually speaking, that it means that, oh, then he should be free. And guess what? Just by God's providence, as the governor was making rounds to exercise executive pardon, who did he pick? Because it's just random selection. The governor must not know the person, or does not need to know the person. Random selection. He went and picked that man. Today, he's a man of God preaching the message of the everlasting kingdom that set him free, both spiritually and physically. Saved him from physical death and spiritual death, which is the second death. Praise the Lord. And the, 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 as he was set free, he went on to serve the living God. I think the name of his ministry is Resurrection Chapel. Why not? Because he was on a death row and God raised him back to life as it were. Oh, glory, glory, glory. We are just here to share the love of Jesus with you. Jesus did not forget you. He has not forgotten you and he will never forget you. He's identifying with you. I've never heard anything like this before in my life. I've known the Lord now for 30, let's say 33 years or 34 years. Okay. So I've never heard anything like this. Jesus, the prisoner. Okay. And it's also even opened my, my, my eyes, you know, to also see him as Jesus, the sick man, Jesus, the madman. So if, if, if a man is, is mad, remember that Jesus Christ shed his blood for everybody. For the madman, the insane, the one that is sane, the one that is in prison, the one that is not in prison, the one that is in the hospital, you know. So if we can say Jesus the prisoner, guess what? Jesus the sick man as well. Jesus the sick. Jesus the infirmed. So what does it mean? Does it mean that Jesus Christ like his physical? No, but he, he identifies. He feels your pain. He took your pain, remember? And my pain on the cross when they were nailing him. You see, the, what happened to Jesus on the cross was what was supposed to happen to you and I. When you look at the crucifixion, you will see how God has zero tolerance for sin. Why? Because sin destroys man. Sin is a destroyer of the one that God loves. So God will do anything to see that the power of sin is broken over man. Why? Because the wages of sin is death. And then he sent his son to die on the cross for you and for me. That is the message of the resurrection uh, a, a day celebration. And today being um, Monday, Monday, resurrection day, Monday. We no longer call it Easter because from history, Easter is the celebration of a goddess, a demon, a goddess called Easter. Okay, so it is called resurrection day celebration the third day celebration Good friday was on friday when we celebrate the, the the actual crucifixion and three days later he rose from the dead and today being monday is the first day the morning after the resurrection i believe god that you're going to resurrect from everything that has caused you pain you will god will set your mind free to think again to, to, to dream again, to hope again. Oh, you'll be free, freer than this insect that is flying here. Yeah. You're going to be free again in the name of Jesus Christ. Do not worry. Jesus is there. Oh, he's there. I can feel his love and his compassion. Just right now that I just said to you that Jesus is there. He really, really is there. I remember when I was, you know, in, in, in abuse. I, it, it, felt, it felt like my world had come to an end but today i am smiling again i'm skipping again i'm dreaming again and achieving my dreams the same can be your story even better even better please don't give up do not give up on jesus
Jesus is there. This is our first time and I believe that he's going to send us again and again. Please, we ask you to accept in the name of Jesus our token, our little gift of, of appreciation for what Jesus, the opportunity that Jesus Christ has given to us to come and pay him a visit. I was telling my uh, colleagues, better bring something. No, don't just wait for, you know, just make sure that your hand is going to touch the hand of Jesus today. And even my nanny actually believes that, ah, we're going to see Jesus because we are also out in our own uh, station, you know, going to see um, Jesus, the prisoner. Praise the Lord. And who knows? He could just decide to, to make an appearance. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. He can do anything that he wants to do. Tonight, most of you are going to be having some dreams. You're going to have an encounter. Do not resist him. All he's ever wanted to do, all that God has ever wanted to do, was just to love humanity. Please love him back. Love God back. Love God back. Because he loves you. And we love you too. I love you. My name is St. Peter's Bell Jigo. And my team with me should must introduce themselves to you. Glory to God. Led by Evangelist Emmanuel, Sister Lovett, Abono, um, Sister Chika, Nkechi, Patricia, you know, and Mrs. Opara. Yes. Oh, I'm sure Mrs. Opara is going to be talking to you. Praise the Lord. And then for the Abuja, led by uh, Barista Ifoma, Chukunyere and we were out here okay with our team Emmanuel is right behind the camera you know doing this thing just for you and Onyinye yes she has been a little bit naughty but she's redeeming herself praise the Lord <laughs> and my lovely daughter mama the Lord bless you we all love you we're just reaching out to you so here we are please accept this gift receive it on behalf of Jesus you're gonna have encounters your lives will never be the same again. In Jesus' name, amen. Father God, I pray, Lord, that if, there, if there's anybody there that is sick, that you will heal them. Heal them, Lord, heal them, Lord. Heal them. Heal them in their wounded hearts. And Lord, if there's anybody that is also there, you know, due to mistaken identity, perform your miracle, Lord. Perform your miracle. Show them mercy. Show them mercy, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. And as they repent, please receive them into your kingdom. But we know that you're already there with them. Oh, thank you, Lord. You died for them. Just as you died for us. There is nothing that you cannot do for them, oh God. For your word says that if God gave up his own son, would he not much more freely give us all other things together with him? Of course he will. There is nothing that can separate you from the love of God. No matter what you have done. No matter what you have done. Jesus can still forgive you. God can still forgive you. And all you need to do is just to put your faith in the blood that his son, Jesus, shed for you and for me. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Bye.